Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. How are you all doing today? How's your week been? How's the energy? We are just about hitting the official start of March, so I hope you've had a chance to check out the March energy update. Now let's see what we've got going in the cards. I'm using the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck this week. So if you want to purchase that deck, it is there is a link in the description box below. All right, Spirit, what do we have in the cards for today? Clarity of mind. Interesting, yesterday they were talking about seeing clearly, being in that clearing. Today they're saying clarity of the mind. They're saying work on clarity of the mind. Interesting because it helps us maneuver our path ahead. Clarity of the mind. Really question your mind. They're saying, and not in a, not in a negative way, but like be curious what comes up in your mind and then ask yourself, is it true? So maybe it's the personal narratives you're talking about, the stories in your mind. Notice what comes up and then ask, then ask is it true? That helps you bring clarity to your mind. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's in the cards. Oh, interesting. I get it. Clair okay, this makes sense to why they're talking about clarity of the mind. Because first of all, we have claircognizance. So claircognizance says tap into your intuition. Claircognizance is one of the clairs, the psychic gifts as they're divided into clairs, clairvoyance, clairaudience, claircognizance, and so on. Claircognizance is direct knowing. It is just like an instant download of knowing. And then one example of this is, you know when you're having a conversation with somebody and say they're having an issue, they're having trouble with something, and you end up sharing an insight with them, but you're almost listening to the insight while you're speaking it, thinking like, whoa, this is really good. This sounds really good. How did I even know that? Where did that even come from? That can be an example of claircognizance. You don't know how you know, but you just know. The same is like when you suddenly get a flash of insight of something and it's very clear, that's claircognizance. Now the interesting thing is to recognize claircognizance, we need to have a clearer mind to be able to catch those moments where something comes in and it's just there, it's so solidly there that we're like, whoa, what was that? Where did that come from? When we have a clear mind, we can interpret that and we can understand that it's a moment where there's divine knowledge coming through us. Once we recognize that, we can open to more experiences of that. One of um, one of the most difficult clairs to teach but easiest to receive is claircognizance. So something to consider, these divine, divine direct knowings and when they just simply show up and they're there, acknowledge it, thank spirit for it, thank the universe consciousness because it really helps you to feel supported in any given situation. Now the other one in connection to this whole clear mind that Spirit is talking about is the third eye chakra. This says allow divine insight. Isn't that interesting? Tap into your intuition, open up to divine knowings. This says allow divine insight. So we have, an in, um, we have two ways in which this is coming in. One is just through knowings and the other one is through the third eye chakra or the brow chakra right here. This is all connecting to clairvoyance. And so again, having a clear mind helps you tap into your clairvoyance because it helps you know what is yours and what isn't. Why did this image of something flash in my mind? Why am I seeing flashing orbs out of the corners of my eyes? Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. You're picking up on the energetics that are available so much more in the collective now. And so by being clear in your own energy in your own mind, you can more easily, like I said, discern what is yours and what isn't. So this card tells me that by doing any kind of third eye opening chakra meditations, maybe you meditate with a stone, if you're laying down, a stone placed on your forehead, you can even kind of tap that brow chakra a little bit like this, or have a finger pressure there to bring the awareness there. And your third eye can open up to reveal more insights in the form of imagery. So it might be an answer to something, it might be a spirit guide that shows themselves to you either in front of you or within your mind's eye. 
It might be um, a whole experience in astral travel. This can even connect into lucid dreaming. Again, there's so many parts connected into this, but what Spirit is wanting to do is bring through more information for you to help you be in more clarity, which is so interesting because that was the Spirit message yesterday. So open your mind here, uh, open your hearts. You always need an open heart to connect into Spirit as well and see what messages come. And then whichever messages come, whichever ones you receive, bring them to kind of sit with the energy of your undercurrent. This says feel at peace. Now the undercurrent is um, what spirit has always called that deeper inner sanctum of self that is strong and steady and true. And it is that part of self that will always give you the honest answers about you. So it's like your energy speaking to you and will always give you the truth in the form of resonance. And so if you ask a question to your, say we'll call it your intuitive self or your whole soul being, and you ask it a question, is this uh, move a good thing for me to do? And in that undercurrent, when you drop into your whole being at the very bottom of it, in that undercurrent, if it feels kind of like something feels off, it's not steady, it's not for you. If you drop into that and there's this steadiness, something that just feels really concrete, that undercurrent that is moving through beneath everything and it is a yes, then you know you can trust that energy moving forward. So this is a really neat message today because Spirit is saying tap into the clear cognizance that, that is available, these direct knowings. Tap into the third eye chakra, clairvoyance that is available through visions and measure it against your undercurrent. You are always involved in the spirit communications, always. You are an equal partner in the ways of spirit and spirit always wants you to know that because it's not about them just telling you or telling us what to do, but rather them collaborating and co-creating with us based on what our dreams and desires and manifestations are. And if you think about it, the last while we've been doing a lot on dreams, desires and manifestations with the energy. Now the energy is moving super fast and so spirit is wanting to come in and communicate that in the many ways that they can answers to our prayers, uh, communications about the things maybe we're waiting for, all of that kind of stuff, embracing us into this higher level of collective consciousness, but still asking us to measure it against our own truth and discernment. So what an interesting message today. Um, you're really stepping up to another level here. This is really neat. So allow that space to happen, but don't lose your sense of you within all of it always, because as Spirit always says, you matter. You absolutely matter. So I will leave that with all of you for today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow.